Last year, just about everywhere you looked, sickness and disease were on the rise. In the United States, someone had a heart attack every 40 seconds. <clears throat> 1.4 million Americans are diagnosed with diabetes every year, and one in two people will get cancer in their lifetime. It was estimated there would be 1.9 million new ca cancer cases diagnosed and 609,360 cancer deaths in the United States last year in 2022. There's also a rise in the number of strokes per year, gastrointestinal problems, arthritic conditions, lung conditions, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and a host of many other diseases. The question is why? Well, many people believe that God is to blame, but is that the case? In the Bible, in 3 John 2, it says that God wants us to prosper and be in health. So if he wants us to prosper and be in health, why is disease more rampant now than ever before? What's the problem? Well, I'd like to bring something to your mind for just a moment, something many of us have learned in our lives at some point growing up, and that is in the world you have many different types of laws. You have civil law, the law of physics, sanitary laws, the laws of gravity, and um, natural laws. Well, it's a well-known fact that in most cases what goes up must come down. That's the law of gravity. And there's also other laws known as natural laws, like I said, and when those laws are neglected in any way, the result is sickness and disease. And over a period of time of neglecting these natural laws, more severe diseases like cancer can set in. Now remember, all the information I'm going to share with you is supported by the Bible, Spirit of Prophecy, medical research, and or medical science. I'm not asking you to buy anything. I just ask that you have a listening ear and a sharing spirit so you can pass along everything you learn here today and possibly help someone in the future. Now, I've been covering uh, the subject of nutrition over the last several videos, and um, the last time I went over the subject of magnesium. So today I'm going to be talking about the importance of reading labels, reading the ingredients on the labels and the hidden names for MSG and the dangers and harmful effects of MSG. Now first in the Bible um, we're told in Psalms 103 verses 4 through 5, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. And so Isaiah 55 2 says, eat ye that which is good. The word good here is from the Hebrew section of the Strong Concordance, and it means best, pleasant, prosperity, welfare, which also means beneficial. And then Proverbs 26, 2 says, The curse causeless shall not come. Job 29, 16 says, The cause which I knew not, I searched out. So that's telling us that there's a reason, there's a cause for whatever happens, and we have to search it out. Now, we're told in the Spirit of Prophecy in Child Guidance, page 361, that we should educate ourselves not only to live in harmony with the laws of health, but to teach others a better way. And then 11 Manuscript Release, page 187, says, become more intelligent in regard to the laws of life. And then we're also told um, to educate ourselves in the laws of life so that they may know how to preserve health, and that's Medical Ministry 259, paragraph 3. Now, the idea should never be given that it is of but little consequence what we eat. That's Councils on Diet and Foods, page 198, paragraph 4. And then the consumption of um, MSG is related to many diseases, 
and Ministry of Healing says on page 127 that disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from a violation of the laws of health. And then we're also told in the same book, page 234, that disease never comes without a cause. The way is prepared and disease is invited by, disregarding, by disregard of the laws of health. So we need to find out which law of health we violated, remove the violation, offer a prayer of faith, and sit back and see the glory of God. Now I'm going to tell you some things um, that MSG causes. It can cause acid reflux, ADD and ADHD, Alzheimer's, autism, brain fog, fibromyalgia, lupus, MS, obesity, Parkinson's, a racing heart, restless leg syndrome, stomach disorders, tumors, and much more. Now, I'm going to give you some signs and symptoms of things that people experience when they have MSG poisoning. And, of course, ADHD again, abdominal discomfort, aching teeth, angina, which is chest pains around your heart or your ribs, anxiety, erythromyas, arthritic-like pain, muscle aches, legs, back, shoulders, neck, asthma, um, ADSP, which is awareness during sleep paralysis, balance problems, behavior problems, bipolar, bloating where your stomach swells, broken sinus capillaries, <coughs> capillaries, bronchitis, bronchitis-like symptoms, burning sinuses, cartilage, connective tissue damage, chronic cough, sometimes a tickle cough, constipation, dark circles or bags under your eyes, delinquency, depression, diarrhea, difficulty focusing, disorientation, dizziness, ear problems like tendinitis or minor disease, extreme dryness of your mouth or cotton mouth as people call it, you get extremely thirsty, you can get face swelling, you can get feelings of inebriation, fluctuations in your blood pressure, you might even have flu-like symptoms, or flushing and tingling and burning sensation in your face or on your chest. You can have a gagging reflex. You can have a gallbladder or even gallbladder-like symptoms or problems. You can have uh, excess gas, um, GERD, which is uh, you know gastro reflux disease in your esophageal. Uh, Gout-like conditions, usually in your knees, heart palpitations, uh, change in your heartbeat or irregularities such as atrial fibrillation. You feel heaviness in your arms or even in your legs. You can have blood in your urine, uh, high blood pressure, hoarseness, hyperactivity, irritable bowel syndrome, which is IBS, infertility, <coughs> excuse me, an irritated tongue, joint pain, kidney pain, lethargy, lightheadedness, loin pain, loss of memory, low blood pressure, mental confusion, mental dullness, mastocytosis, migraine headaches, uh, mitral valve prolapse, mouth lesions, um, and you can get small waxy bits in your throat or in your tonsils with those mouth lesions, nausea, uh, neurological diseases like ALS, Parkinson's, uh, MS, uh, nocturia, numbness or paralysis, painful rectum, panic attacks, um, not post nasal drip, pressure behind your eyes, prostrate, <coughs> excuse me, prostate, rage and hostility, restless leg syndrome, runny nose and sneezing, seeing shiny lights, <coughs> seizures, shortness of breath, shuddering, shaking, chills, skin rash, hives, itching. <coughs> Sleeping disorders like insomnia or drowsiness or chronic fatigue, a slurred speech, a sore throat, sores, spastic colon, stiffness in your jaw and muscles, stomach cramps, swelling in your hands, your feet, and your face, swelling of prostate, swollen rectum, uh, tachycardia, which is your heart rate uh, being over 100, tendinitis, thyroid problems, tightness of chest, tingling numbness on your face, ears, arms, legs, or feet, tired or burning eyes to a blurry vision or optic neuritis, TMJ, tremors, uncontrollable bladder, 
neurological problems, vomiting, water retention. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, uh, problems just from MSG. Now you can go to this link, it's um, msgmyth.com and you can see a lot of information on there. It's amazing, the information that they have. No, there was a doctor who found that when brain cells were exposed to higher levels of external glutamate, within an hour of exposure, the cells died. And glutamate is found in baby food, Bragg's aminos, candies, care products, cosmetics, Daya cheeses, dietary supplements, um, earth balance butter, yes. Food that's labeled organic because it's not USDA certified, they can, they can get by with it. You make sure if you want organic, you buy USDA certified organic, not just organic. The rules are less strict for just organic. Food, gums, McKay's chicken seasoning and the beef chicken seasoning, the mints, other aminos like coconut, uh, some beverages, vaccines, veginase, um, veggie meats, wine, and much more. Now, there's a lot of other names for MSG on the label. They don't just put MSG. And I'm going to give you some of those hidden names. There's quite a few of them. Um, Aginimoto, any hydrolyzed protein, anything that says hydrolyzed or autolyzed, autolyzed plant protein even, autolyzed yeast, calcium caseinate, <coughs> calcium glutamate, gelatin, glutamate with the uh, E620, uh, glutamate acid with E620, hydrolyzed plant protein, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, magnesium glutamate, monoammonium glutamate, which is E624, monosodium glutamate, monopotassium glutamate, natrium glutamate, pea protein, Senomix, which is wheat extract labeled as a flavor, sodium caseinate, sodium protein, soy protein concentrate, soy protein isolate, textured protein, vegetable protein extract, vestin, whey protein, whey protein isolate, yeast extract, yeast food or nutrient. There's also some MSG found in low or no fat items. Uh, algae, barley grass powders, barley malt, bodybuilding drinks, excuse me, bouillons, broths, carrageenan, which is E407, caramel flavoring, citric acid when it's processed from corn, E330, corn protein, dough conditioners, gluten, gluten flour, gluten powder, malt extract or flavoring, malted barley uh, flavor, maltodextrin, natural beef flavoring, natural chicken flavoring, natural flavor period, natural seasonings, oat protein, pectin, phytoplankton, protein bars and protein powders and protein shakes, rice protein, uh, smoke flavoring like liquid smoke. Be sure and read the labels because some of them have other ingredients besides just the liquid smoke. Uh, soy sauces, a soy sauce extract, stock, wheat powders, wheat protein, and yeast nutrient. Now, there, there's ingredients suspected of containing enough processed glutamate to cause highly sensitive individuals to react. Now, someone like me, or who's not highly sensitive, probably won't react, but you still don't want it in your body. And, and that, on those um, ingredients um, that affect these highly sensitive individuals is anything that says enriched or vitamin enriched, brown rice syrup, caramel color or flavoring, corn syrup and corn syrup solids, corn starch, dextrose, fructose from corn, gums like guar gum, vegetable gum, xanthan gum, high fructose corn syrup, lecithin from soy, lipolyzed butter fat, milk powder like dry milk solids, modified food starch, most low or no fat foods, reduced fat milk like skim, 1%, 2%, <coughs> rice syrups, spices, whey powder. Now, here's some substances that work with MSG to enhance flavor, and if they are present, MSG is as well, even though it might not say it, and that's protease and protease enzymes. And now look for words like dio, disodium, 5, um, which is E627, disodium 5, 
E631 and disodium 5E635. Enzyme modified enzymes, fermented protein, fortified anything, milk to shampoos and protein fortified. Now that is also taken from the website I told you about earlier called msgmyth.com. And um, another thing that has free glutamate in it is nutritional yeast flakes. And it works on the brain the same way MSG does. It doesn't say that they have these, uh, MSG on the label, but they add it afterwards. So beware of nutritional yeast flakes. They are very, very unhealthy too. Um, also a book that I highly would recommend would be Food Additives, which is a shopper's guide to what's safe and what's not. And you can also go to www.truthinlabeling.org and then the hidden names for MSG. I'll have uh, websites posted below. I'll have all these websites posted below. Even uh, 60 Minutes uh, did a program on MSG and that's on YouTube and I'll post that link. And then there's a Dr. Blaylock who was a, a surgeon, a neurosurgeon, and he's been studying the brain and, and effects on the brain for over 30 years. And he discusses the dangers of MSG. He calls it a poison. And he calls it excitotoxins. And it's the, the taste that kills is the name of his book. And I'll give the link for that too, um, for that video. And uh, keep in mind though that God has replacements for the things that Satan invents and wants to us to eat to get sick and get disease and die. Read Psalms 84:11. Now you could make your own um, soy sauces and a lot of these things. It's very easy to do. Um, I make my own soy sauce. Very simple. Just put the ingredients in the pot and boil, and you're done. And um, you can even make a beef flavor substitute by using flour and onion and celery and garlic and some other seasonings and I'll post that recipe below so that you can try it out and see what you think and I make my own chicken seasoning too um, I'll have to add that recipe as well because I forgot about it but um, yeah you don't need to buy those ones that have all that garbage in it make your own it's very easy to do and it doesn't take very long and then you just mix those things together and I just put them in a glass jar and put them in the cupboard and use them when I need them but um, Anyway, well, that's all my time for today. I hope that what you've learned out here will be a blessing to you and your family. And until we meet again, may the good Lord bless and keep you throughout the week. And remember, God loves you, and he wants you to be in health. So eat that which is good. Amen.